In this video, we're going to be talking about the new loan limits and what they mean to a home buyer in 2023. Hey, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm here with Sammy Leopolis and I'm one of the top 300 loan officers in the United States and work with Guaranteed Rate. All right, Sammy, tell me, why do these loan limits matter? They matter for a bunch of reasons. The first is that you can put down as little as 3% in some circumstances. The second is that underwriting is way easier. Third is that PMI can be cheaper compared to some of the government loans. Uh, the fourth is that anything over these amounts becomes a jumbo loan where it's harder to obtain financing. All right, I mean, all that, it, it makes sense to me at least. Now, now, is it one loan limit for every everywhere in the country or do they change? Yeah, they change based on the county that the property is in. For example, the loan limit is going to be higher in Suffolk County, which is the city of Boston's in, than say a rural county in Ohio. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. Okay, so how often do these loan limits change? Once per year. So the loan limits, can they only go up or do they go down as well? They can go either up or down, depends on what happens in the market. If housing prices go down, then the loan limits will likely go down. If housing prices go up, then loan limits will go up. Okay, so do the loan limits Limits, do they vary by single families, condos, and multifamily? The loan limits for single family homes and condos are the same, while multifamily property loan limits vary. All right, so you're gonna have to unpack this varying loan limits for multifamily properties. What do you mean by that? Uh, the amount you can finance goes up based upon the number of units in the building. Can you give some examples of these loan limits for, how about some counties around Boston? Since we mentioned Suffolk County, uh, the maximum loan limit for a single family home is 828,000. A two family is um, a little over a million 60,000. Three family is a million 280,000. $1,300. Uh, now for people in the Boston area, uh, Essex, Middlesex, Plymouth, Norfolk County are all going to be the same as Suffolk County. These are compared to say Bristol County where the loan limit is still $726,200 uh, where single family is $929,850 for a two family. Okay. So is this just for conventional or is this for FHA properties as well or loans? No, I'm talking about conventional loans here. Uh, FHA plays by a slightly different set of rules though they, they can be the same. All right. So what about VA loans? Are there any loan limits to VA loans? Typically, no, there are no limits for VA loans. So if you're a veteran, and looking to take advantage of the amazing VA loan product, then this is not something that you guys need to worry about. So that's all the different loan types, right? Yep. Is there anything that a buyer needs to keep in mind in regards to loan limits when they're actually buying their property? Yeah, they need to keep the counties in mind when looking at homes. Uh, a home buyer could be looking for a new home in Bridgewater and Taunton, but because these loan limits, these two houses would be a, a, would be subject to different loan limits. And even though they're in the neighboring towns, it's different. Yeah, so I mean, that could really kind of mess you up there. Yeah, yeah. So these loan limits will obviously change from state to state, right? So if someone's looking to buy a house in another state, then they should probably just reach out to you and talk to you and get pre-approved and then you can go over all these loan limit stuff with them, right? Yeah, exactly. I can help, um, you know, somebody that's looking to buy in all 50 states in America. I'm currently working with people in California, Florida, South Carolina. Okay. Well, Sammy, I, I think we did it. Uh, that's everything that I think that you need to know in regards to loan limits. Uh, a little in the weeds stuff there, you know. If, you think about, if you're thinking about making a move in Massachusetts, then be sure to reach out to this guy. He's one of the top agents in the state and will take great care of you. Yeah, and if you're looking at buying a house in Massachusetts or really anywhere in the country, like he said earlier, then Sammy can help you. He works for the number two lender in the country and is one of their top 10 mortgage bankers in that company. Now, our contact information is in the description below. So let us know if you have any questions about loan limits or really anything else. But ultimately, until next time.